G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and as always, I am glad to have you here with me. I don't know why I said it like that. I say it different every time. But today we're having a look at a little game called Monster Bash. And it is a scary one. Whoa. Released in 1993, developed and published by, you guessed it, Apogee Software. It's a side-scrolling platformer with a horror theme. And it's divided into three episodes. So we're gonna dive right in and try uh, part one here. It's Monster Bash starring Johnny Dash, I should say. So we are Johnny Dash. And let's begin. Now, I know for a fact that this game is hard as all hell, so I'm doing easy mode. Sue me, okay? Alright? Do an easy mode. Now, I'm gonna give you a very abridged story. To exit a level, free all the dogs and cats. Yeah. You have been sucked into the underworld by an evil force who is, you know, kidnapping all the dogs and cats. And you have to save all the dogs and cats. And I'm all about saving all the dogs and cats because I like dogs and cats. Alright? Sound good? Alright. Awesome. Now, I played this only once in my life when I was four or five years old and scared the absolute crap out of me. It gave me nightmares. I'm not kidding. And uh, maybe I'm a bit too impressionable or something, but I'm gonna show you why. There's bits in this game that are a bit, a bit more gory than you would expect from a DOS game. Like, what the hell is that? Like an evil flashing skull? I guess that's not so bad. But I do really, uh, coming back to it, I do really like the aesthetic. It's very pretty, it's very, very creepy, very ghouly, very ghosty. Ah, zombie! Ah, my only means of attack is my slingshot, which I can fire straight ahead or straight up, which I have infinite arrow fo ammo for. I can also, oh my god, flying zombie head. I can also crouch down and shoot. And what I just picked up there was like a spread shot, like a shotgun type modification for my slingshot. Ah, okay. So, uh, oh, even look at the, oh my god. Those hands, see that thing I just killed? A disembodied hand. Those were the things that gave me nightmares. But as I was saying, I love the level of detail in this. Like, look at the background. Even the trees are freaking angry and horrifying. Like, legit, look at the face on that tree. It's angry as hell, and that is scary. Well, what's this? Oh, okay. So, don't fall down the holes. I thought there might be a secret area down there. In retrospect, probably not a good move. So we basically got to save. Oh, God, those skulls, they make a terrifying noise when you kill them. That scared the hell out of me, too. So, yeah, I never played this again ever until now. Oh, so I hope I don't get, you know, re, re uh, ignite all the trauma from my childhood. My God, I fell down the goddamn hole again. I'm not good at this. Is that clear? Yeah, it's a hard game, even even on easy mode. Not that the uh, my falling down a pit was something that everyone would do. I'm just gonna pay more attention. And yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot to love about this game, like the "Do not feed the zombies" signs. Isn't that hilarious and comical? I think it's hilarious. And the problem is every time I walk across this bridge, more of it falls off. So I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to avoid that. But no matter, ugh, Johnny Dash is pretty hard to control. Oh, a checkpoint with a pirate flag. <gasps> a kitten, a kitten in a cage would save the cute kitten. Yeah. Oh, there you go, buddy. Okay, where are we going? I think uh, the reason why all the animals are enslaved is because, like, some demon or Satan or something wants to turn them all into evil demons to take to earth and then used to destroy earth or something I don't know oh god how am I gonna get this zombie and save the doggy yeah oh okay I think I just took some damage as you can see in the top left hand corner uh, that one on the further far left is my health and the uh, kind of gas meter is how many of these uh, special spread shot bullets I have. Ah! It's the hands that creep me out more than anything. Disembodied hands. Is it wrong to fear a disembodied hand? 
I think so. Fucking game over, are you kidding me? This is only- this is on easy mode. What kind of masochist plays this on hard mode? Jesus, god damn, god, rah! Okay, let's- let's bring the A game. Oh, press F10 for hints. Is that only showing up because I'm a loser? You can see more of the game by looking up and down, look up, look down. Crack spearheads can be shut. Press the up key to enter any door. See if you can find the programmer's initials FM and the producer's initials GB on this level. Yet another game where the developers and stuff hid their names, or initials at least, in the game. As I've mentioned before, that's, that's commonplace almost in a lot of DOS games. Which is kind of neat, but you don't need to push it on us like that, guy. Like, really? Listen to the skull when you kill it. <laughs> that laugh is terrifying. It's terrifying, and I don't care if you think it's not. It is. Let's see if I can actually beat the first level of this game. Come on, Johnny. Oh my god, that kills me. This freaking The heads fly off and go ape shit. And this is a tough one. I don't think there's many people who would have actually completed this game. Like, people love talking about how good they are at games and how... What hard games they can be. But how many people have actually beaten Monster Bash on DOS? I'm gonna guess pretty much none of you. No one on the planet has beaten this game ever, I, I bet. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Do I need to clarify that? But seriously, though. This is goddamn ridiculous. And it doesn't help when I'm playing poorly like this. I'm gonna try and take it slow, even though that's less exciting. Like, what's the best way to take care of this, this blue head zombie? Not like that, apparently. Yeah, and his head flies off and he kills you. Let's try this again. Ah, there's something evil hanging around in that wall, so I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna duck, I'm gonna jump up here. Nope, you're not gonna hit me. Okay, I can jump over here, don't have to deal with the zombie. I fall down here, fall down here. Okay, so this stuff, enemies didn't reappear. Awesome. Gotta find all the doggies and cats. Do these skulls actually hurt you? Oh god, I should have known that. Oh, stop laughing like that, it's terrifying. Ah, okay. Oh, what's this? Never leave a pet behind. Okay, so that's the exit. Is that the last dog? No, I've still got more pets to save, damn it. Can I go down? Uh Okay, come on. Is this where I'm meant to go? Jesus. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this. This scared the goddamn hell out of me. I'm in the freaking ground in a cemetery and there's evil disembodied hands crawling around and trying to kill me. Now, if that doesn't scare you, I think there's something wrong with you, alright? I'm sorry if I'm being overly defensive, but don't make fun of me for being afraid of this, okay? I'm just as big and manly as the next man. Ah! Oh no. And I'm in my pajamas as well. We haven't mentioned that. I'm in my freaking pajamas. If that doesn't make you feel a bit vulnerable, then I don't know what would. Ugh. Okay, come on. I know I can shoot the spearheads because the thing told me to. Stand here. Nope. Stand here. Nope. Oh, nuts to this. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like hearts give me full health. Not just a uh, arbitrary amount of health. Uh, okay, sweet. We're doing pretty good now. We're getting things in order here in Monster Bash. Ah! What is that? There's like... Oh, it's the heads that come off the zombies that always screw me over. Oh, a chest! What's in the chest? How do I open it? Oh, I have to... Oh, I have to destroy it? And I got some points out of it. Wow, that was so underwhelming. Is that a switch? Yeah. Okay, I hit the switch. I don't know what that did. Uh, I don't need to shoot those skulls, and I don't know why I'm doing it, because it's traumatizing me. Okay, so is that all of the animals? How do I find out if there are any more animals? 
Uh, hints for this level. See if you can find the blah blah blah. Can see more of the game. I look. Nope, no tips here. Oh, all right. The switch made a ladder appear. I didn't even notice that. So we can get back now. Oh, duh, that was dumb. And maybe I can find out. Well, I guess I am gonna find out whether I got all the doggies and catties. Come on up the ladder, Johnny. A little faster there. What's with this pajamas? Like, you see all these pajamas in like old movies and TV shows. Did old kids used to wear like onesies, no matter how old they were, with like a flap at the back that you can undo to go to the toilet? When did that go out of style? Cause, ridiculous as it looks, it's not necessarily impractical. Have I saved all the dogs and cats? Oh no! Where are we going? God damn it. Alright. Time for back. Oh, the ladder goes up further? Okay. Maybe not backtracking time. Whoa. Ooh, candy. Want some candy? Oh my god, how the hell are you supposed to do that? You can't jump off the ladder. You can only, like, fall off it. So I don't know how you're supposed to get. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh my god. And I got dizzy because I fell from a large height. Ugh, this game's frustrating me now. I can hear a dog barking, where is it? Where are you, buddy? I swear this game used to have like a compass in it that told you where the animals were. But I don't know where or how to access that. Oh, can I go down there? It seems like I could maybe because there's like an item down there. But that could be a tease. Like a trap. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Cause that's like. Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> There's no way to get back there because everything's destroyed. Oh man. This is hard. This is hard. It's hard and it's scary. Uh, I challenge you to beat this game. I challenge you. And film it too. I'd love to watch you do a Let's Play of this game. Thank god I'm only doing one episode on it. Wait, what's up here? Uh, okay, come on. Oh, there's a dog! Oh, yes! I found all the animals! Wish I'd gone there first. What a dumbass I am. Okay, let's have a look at level 2 at least before we wrap things up. Okay. Oh, sweet. I'm doing one handed push ups. That's one manly ass kid. So I've got time. Seven minutes. Part time. 430. Oops. Splatter bonus. Loot ratio. Total bonus points. Your score is now 22,800. What does that say? Something. Pa. Something for. Something bonus. Okay. Not the uh, most appealing font you've used there. Ooh, okay. <gasps> oh, God, no. A creepy skeleton. Ah! And it comes to life when you break it down. I regret saving you from your noose. Oh, wow, what's this? I got like a missile picture. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, some of my, like, slingshot bullets are, like, homing missiles. That's badass. Can I get up on these, like, gallows or whatever the hell they are? Not gallows, but... What's the name of the things that people hang people from? In, like, the medieval times. Are there any, uh, English mages in the audience? Oh! Now there's big serpents coming out to kill me. I don't like that. I run past all the creepiest serpent eyes. I'm sure I'm leaving behind some dogs and cats, but I don't know how to like climb up higher. Die skeletons. <laughs> I love the little rockets. They're really determined. Look at them. They like bounce around and like off the headstones and stuff. <laughs> don't even have to be aiming in their general direction. Now that's the kind of homing missile I like. Wish more games had homing missiles that actually homed in. I'm sorry, I seem to have such a big problem with the 
<laughs> the, the homing capabilities of video game missiles. But maybe you can understand that. Maybe you've played games like this. Oh, kitten. I'll save you, kitten. Okay, where am I going? I'm pretty due for a game over, I think. Oh, do I have to backtrack all the way back now? I hate this kind of level design. At the same time, I kind of admire it. That's hard to explain where exactly I'm, I'm coming from with this. I don't know, no one wants to just backtrack to an area they've been before. But, it's not exactly where I've been before, because it's like a higher part of the level, so it's like making the most of the set amount of screen you have. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Oh, I wonder if I can beat this second level. Someone should give me a medal if I can, even though it's not easy, but... Uh, okay, how do I get across? Leap of faith! Uh, no regrets. Uh, now I'm just gonna crawl around like a baby. My God. Uh, you. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Remember. Monster Bash is one. It's a tough game. Like I couldn't imagine the patience it must take to beat this game on hard mode. And I've beaten hard games, don't let me remind you of that. I've beaten, I've beaten all the modern contemporaries of difficulty, uh, the paragons of difficulty in modern games. I've beaten Demon Souls, I've beaten Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, I've beaten Super Meat Boy. I didn't beat I Wanna Be The Guy though. For the record, I Wanna Be The Guy is officially my hardest game of all time. If you know what that is, if you don't, Google it, download it, play it, get angry, and then, then curse my name out because it's ridiculous. I tried to beat it and I failed. Anyway, I am rambling. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Monster Bash. Please try it. If, if you try anything, try this. Actually, no. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't go that far. But I recommend you try it. Because I'm not as incompetent as it may seem. <laughs> so I will see you next time. Please leave me a like and comment and subscribe if you'd like to. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be coming to you uh, tomorrow with a new episode of Let's Remember probably. Unless I decide to take a look at a newer indie game. But bye for now.